Hi everyone, this is Brenda here. Welcome to my next episode, day 31 of my Let's Clash series. So today I did a lot of crazy and amount of raids. So the first one I'd like to show you guys is this 313,000 gold available base. So the next few raids that you guys got to go see, they are all really high in loot, especially later you'll see one that has like 500 over 1000 gold available, like around 1.2 million resources available in the next few raids. So going ahead with this attack on this Town Hall 9, taking a, a look at where I should attack and deploy my troops first, rather than to just spam out my troops. So focusing at those places where the gold mines are all located at, and then eventually just uh, waiting to see as to whether I'm able to get the percentage high enough for one star. But uh, as things go, I was uh, trying my luck as to just wait for the percentage to go up, saving my clan castle and also my king. So just waiting to uh, see as the situation now, as you can see the gold mines, they are being taken out really quickly. Just left the two more gold mines on the top. So once they have actually gone down, I decided to just wait it out and see how far I can actually get the percentage to. So currently now with at 38%, I was hoping that my king with my clan castle full of wizards will be able to get the job done by getting a 12%. But uh, not forgetting uh, that my king is actually only level 1 and then I kind of didn't remember that. So uh, my king, he went down really quickly. Now you can see his HP is already red blood. And now he has gone down with the wizards are not having any uh, mid shoe in front of them to tank the damage off from them. They are being uh, taken out by the archer towers and also the cannon really quickly. So the cannon and the archer towers, they are kind of high in level. And of course my level 1 barbarian king wasn't able to handle the damage much enough. So now going ahead with the next attack on this tower 10 with 344,000 gold available. Definitely gonna go for it because a lot of people go out they are all on the outside in the gold mines So I'm not gonna bother to uh, make my way into the base because in fact the gold storages that are also outside So if some of the gold um, half of it if they are inside the gold storages I will still be able to get the gold storages So not to worry about getting all the gold because uh, the gold storages they are outside And of course for dark elixir I'm not really focusing on it so much right now That's why I didn't bother attacking the dark elixir uh, drills but I could have attacked it so now going ahead with this very low amount of loot because um, why I attacked this base was because I was kind of pu push my way up the leak and of course uh, getting to crystal leak so I could get the fourth builder. So I will say the weakness about this base is that the Mota they are not very high in level and of course the wizard towers they are also not high in level. Although his walls were relatively high in level uh, having uh, level 6 and also level 7 walls. They are pretty strong and also difficult for my low level barbarians to actually break through but with the help of the level 1 barbarian king they still uh, manage to break through the wall really quickly and also with the wizards supporting at the back but uh, I should have actually brought some uh, wall breakers because it would be definitely much easier for my uh, troops to go in but not to worry my uh, troops managed to break their way in and of course the uh, barbarian king is just uh, going ahead to do a lot of damage and with the support from the wizards at the back they're gonna do a lot of damage to take out the structures really quickly and now the Motas have already gone down so it's just left with those uh, remaining structures to be taken out now the barbarian king is whacking against that level 7 wall not going for the level 6 wall I'm not really sure why he didn't he go for the uh, lower level wall I mean uh, this is something that supercell could actually uh, change which is uh, the, for your troops to go for a lower level wall than going for a stronger level wall um, because I see many of the time, especially those in a high champion leagues gameplay, those people who actually have like level 9, level 10 and in fact level 11 walls, uh, sometimes your troops go for the level 11 walls instead of the level 9 walls. I'm not too sure why is that so but then um, the thing is uh, what I can infer is uh, the troops actually go for the lower, um, the most damaged uh, war that has already been done on but uh, they do not go for those lower HP wars so uh, maybe Supercell could tweak that a bit going for those lower level wars instead of going for those highest level war on the base and now going ahead to attack this base with 290,000 gold available definitely gonna go for it because a lot of the gold they are on on the outside and it's not gonna be a difficult base to score a win because the tower is kind of exposed on the top right so definitely my archers or even my wizards will be able to shoot over the wall and then get the tower for me um, having some uh, barbarians in front to tank will be a problem because there are actually two layer of walls over there so the barbarian might not uh, hit the walls to actually go for the buildings but then they will run around maybe to the left or to the right side to tr try to take out the buildings in fact even if the buildings on the left and the right they are already been taken out they might not uh, hit on the wall that's already been protected by two layers so that's something for you guys to take note of especially for this kind of basis only the archers or um, in fact the wizards they will be able to shoot over the wall but not the barbarian they will, might uh, go to those walls that have only single uh, wall protecting it and then now the archer queen is just um, going to go down really quickly from the damage of my uh, minions and also my archers and then now the coma is going to go down so just left with 40,000 gold I don't think I'll be able to get on but yeah just ending the raid definitely getting the one star from the town hall being taken out 
So going ahead with the next attack, definitely going to go for it too because the goal they are on outside and this base is going to be very easy to score a 1 star because a lot of the buildings they are on export on the outside, especially the bottom left and the right. And also being just a Town Hall 8, the number of structures to take out is not a lot as compared to a Town Hall 9 or Town Hall 10. So it's going to be pretty easy to get the 1 star. So slowly bit by bit just looking around and seeing where are the safe spots to drop my troops. Especially my minions where the cannons are all located and also the mortar that is located at. So now the mortar at the bottom there is going to not do any damage to my minion. Because the minion is just going to take out that, that particular army camp over there. So now the situation ain't really too good. Although um, a lot of the buildings are on the outside. But then I couldn't uh, get the 50%. Because the left side I didn't clear too much. So now going ahead with this humongous amount of loot rate that I wanted to show you guys. So this base has like 1.2 million resources available. And a lot of the resources are not exactly inside the gold mine or also the um, pumps. But some of them they are inside the gold storages and also the elixir storages. Uh, but not to worry, although it's a Tower Hall 8 only, but it has 1.2 million resources available to loot. So it's really a high in loot amount of uh, resources to go for. So going ahead to slowly, um, bit by bit, uh, definitely going ahead to take a 1 star and do a 1 star. So uh, slowly just um, making my way into the base and definitely not uh, rushing my way through. Because I want to conserve my uh, troops. I was uh, thinking whether to go ahead to break all my way into the base, but I didn't have any wall breakers to break through to get to that gold storages and also another setback is that the walls they are actually level 8 now you can see they are uh, level 7 and level 8 wall there was some skull walls over there similar to the uh, walls on my base so they are rather difficult to break through if you do not have any wall breakers especially when I only have level 4 barbarians but not to worry my research of my level 5 barbarians will be done in just a few more days time so having level 5 barbarians their hit points will increase so much as to they will be able to tank more damage and their damage increase will be a lot that's why I always recommend to people to upgrade their uh, barbarians and archers to level 5 as fast as possible whereas from level 5 to level 6 their damage increase uh, ain't really too much but uh, for the barbarians they do uh, increase in terms of HP really a lot so now going ahead to push my cups now you can see I start the town hall and end the raid with just 2% and then after ending the raid I managed to reach to crystal lake and uh, once I reach to crystal lake I managed to get the, one of the achievements done which is getting the 250 gems so uh, definitely that's going to get me close enough to get the fourth builder but not to worry once my builder is ready after this clan castle has been upgraded and getting me 25 uh, housing space for my clan castle right now I'm going to get more gems out of it and now with 994 gems ready with me I'm going to remove the gem box before that I'm going to remove the trunk so let's see how many gems we get from the trunk so we got five gems from the trunk just one more gem away from getting our fourth builder which costs 1000 gems so we're definitely going to get some gems from the gem box 25 gems from the gem box so every time when you remove a gem box you get 25 gems and also for those of you who do not know uh, your gem box can only have one on your base at a single given moment so basically you can never ever have two gem box ever on your base so that's why it's really recommended to remove your gem box as soon as possible so now i'm going to upgrade to town hall 9 we're going to upgrade it and it will be a town hall 9 in 10 days time so yeah let's start the town hall 9 journey so you guys have to be patient and wait for 10 days till i'll start my town hall 9 uh, farming and of course i'll be farming dark elixir once i've reached to meet town hall 9 so going ahead to get my fourth builder right now especially when uh, i do not have any builders already and with the 219,000 gold left i'm just gonna uh, upgrade uh, one of my archer tower because it just takes 30 minutes and then i'm uh, just going ahead to upgrade my army camp so the army camp uh, is gonna take a few days to upgrade and definitely in that few days i will still have another free builder left the next day because i've already planned my time uh, properly so yeah in the next 10 days i will still be farming a little but as mentioned to you guys i won't be as free to farm because i have some uh, personal matters to tend to but not to worry i'll still uh, farm as much as i can and uh, definitely uh, push my wall a little uh, i won't be surprised that i can't get my walls all to level 8 before i reach to town hall 9 but not to worry once we reach to town hall 9 i will be able to use both resources the gold and the elixir to upgrade my walls to level 9 from level 8 so that's going to be a really helpful tip especially when my walls they are all overflowing so i do not really like my gold and uh, elixir to overflow especially uh dark elixir also 
because uh, it's just gonna waste a lot of resources so I just want to spend my resources as wisely as possible as much as possible that's why I'm trying to rush my town hall so that I could use the elixir to upgrade the walls and not just a, a farm for it and then after that they go to waste so just now after spending 750,000 to upgrade my army camp now as you can see my elixir is already uh, going up so much until it's almost uh, reaching to the cap of 2 million so yeah I heard some of you guys uh, saying in the comments to upgrade my uh, elixir storage because uh, it's gonna help in farming of the walls yes I do agree with that and I'm gonna do that wh uh, while my town hall is being upgraded I will be uh, trying to upgrade all my elixir and gold storages to the max level possible and then uh, having 6 million uh, gold and elixir storages will definitely help in terms of stocking up for gold and elixir to uh, upgrade the stuff on Town Hall 9 and once I reach Town Hall 9 I have another extra storage one more gold and one more elixir storage which I will be able to upgrade them to the max uh, level and then get 8,000 uh, gold and elixir storage available so going ahead with the raid, this raid is just going to be an easy raid and of course it's going to be very fast because I just have to take out the gold mines which are all just outside situated in just one row for me to just take them all out so this is just a case of an easy raid whereby people just put their gold mines all in this particular manner and then you just have to take it out so this is some uh, tricks and tips that I'd like to share with you guys which is if these kind of bases appear you just have to use a few of your troops to take it out and uh, I won't even bother to get a 1 star because it's just going to waste a lot of troops I mean it's really uh, better to just go ahead to next and then once you find a town hall to snipe to just snipe that town hall although you sacrifice that loss but once you snipe for a town hall you are able to get the win at the same time be able to farm a little bit like for example this case there's a lot of loot available so I decided to use a little bit more of my troops and then also at the same time the town hall was on the right side so even if I uh, manage to only uh, get like say 49% but the town hall goes down I'll still get the one star not to worry about that not losing this rate definitely but I did try my luck using in fact a rage band also my king and my clan castle so going for it going to go for the gold mines on the inside which is a uh, kind of a uh, hard to get because I do not have any wall breakers and fighting against level 7 walls is just uh, not too easy to break through but with the help of the wizards they are definitely going to help to take out a lot of the defenses that are behind the wall especially that mortar over there now going ahead to take out the gold mines and then once that wall has uh, broken uh, the wizards went ahead to take out the dark elixir which kind of uh, helped a lot especially when I'm using minions to farm and my dark elixir is going down too so I managed to win this raid with 21 trophies although the previous one I lost 24 so it's just a negative 3 instead of like a negative 24 so now going ahead to upgrade my walls definitely trying to get them to a higher level and definitely going to get the new defense right now not the air sweeper but the tesla i feel that the air sweeper currently for me is kind of useless so i do not want to get it but i'm going to get the tesla because it's going to help in the, my defense slightly a little so as now you can see i've gotten 81 of my walls to level 8 walls so i still have like 144 more walls to get to level 8 for uh, my current uh, capacity of walls so going ahead to take a look at my uh, gold grab is increased quite a bit not uh, much today so as you can see on the top left they have added a new feature in the new update which is the player uh, tag so um, kind of a new thing and I also kind of like it because uh, we, we'll be able to uh, track down and find a certain person that we want to look for especially it will be a unique a uh, player tag that we can actually key in into the clan search to search for the people so this is something that supercell has actually added in the last update which uh, i'll update you guys more in the next few updates about what uh, the air sweeper can actually do this and that using my main account definitely and showing you guys some uh, defenses we re replay in the high champions league so with this it i'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on